Okay, today we're gonna fly more packs. It's like more packs. So less doing pit tunes and more enjoying it. I'm running this on Avatar HD Pro. We're gonna fly with Fatshark Dominator HD, Avatar goggles. And this stack flight controller is Rushblade F722 HD, so digital version. ESC is T-Motor Velox V50A. Unfortunately, I've had nothing but problems with this combo, with this stack. And this is transferred from my second custom build, which crashed a couple of times. I never had like a lot of damage, but it crashed and I couldn't figure out what's going on. It looked exactly like these things. I tried everything proposed and suggested, nothing worked. So I dismantled that one and then I built this one from scratch. We're gonna fly on GoPro Session 5. First battery, it's gonna be 1100 milliamps 5S and we'll see how it goes. And if that goes fine, we're gonna switch to 6S. I think it's a uh, 1350 so we'll see i'm also running this setup on elrs matic r24d through diversity it has two antennas so one is i installed it horizontally and the second one is vertical it's angled but when we fly like this it's vertical so that should be the best possible setup I'm actually not putting too much hopes in this just because of that stack. By the way, it's also waterproof. I just uh, conformal coated it a few days ago and it's double coat. I'm actually expecting it to crash. Um, but let's hope it's, it's just gonna crash, not burn. So we can pull out parts and maybe rebuild it for, for third time. This frame is called Mopax, as I said, and it's built by Eric from Rotor Village Canadian FPV shop. I love it. It's pretty wide, and I'm thinking this is gonna fly like crazy. This can accommodate, I think, up to 5.6 inch props. It's a little wider frame. These are 5.1, like standard five inch, and there is a lot more space in between, so you can even fit larger props inside. We're gonna fly with Radio Master Boxer and see how it goes. Let's try. Let's put this on just so I can see myself better. Stand out. Among this yellowness, grayness. Okay. Let's go. It flies perfectly smooth. I'm going to be getting a lot of false alarms, but it flies perfect. Okay, let's try again.
Okay, we're gonna switch to 6S because I I enabled uh, notifications, but they're set up for uh, success. So I'm gonna be getting false alarms on this one. There's no point. We're gonna go straight to success. Okay, we're uh, on 6S now, it's 1350 milliamps and we're gonna try with this one. With 5S it flew perfectly smooth, I'm super happy. Well, last time when I had problems with this stock, it also flew really smooth but then problems start happening when I do a roll, like a huge roll or big loop and then when I'm coming out of that or do a lot of little tricks then it gets confused, maybe gyro or whatever, it's giving him a problem. So we're gonna test it now. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, I think I didn't, it actually it's not due to the fact that it was 5S, I think I didn't configure this properly. So I'm just gonna disregard battery warnings and just flying and getting a feel of Okay, so first time I think it's okay and now I'm just gonna try to do a couple of tricks and see if this is gonna crash, hopefully not burn. Because I don't want it to burn. telling me it's 3.6 volt and let me check actually just to be sure what is it really. okay let's gonna see what this little guy tells us Okay, so I don't know if that can be seen. 
camera it's 22.6 right now so I think I know what's going on I think in beta flight uh, under power and battery settings that's not set up properly there is a setting where you can set uh, the proper number for your battery and there is even calibration option so I think that's not set up properly and it's letting me know when it shouldn't we could still fly but uh, it just like those sounds are annoying we're gonna come back when we set up everything properly and that's gonna be probably some other day but for now it flies perfectly smooth I even did some basic tricks which would kill it last time when when I had problems with this stuff uh, right now nothing it's it, it flies perfectly fine so I'm happy I think Maiden is successful we were flying as I said with Farshark Dominator HD two patch antennas EBS and then two Lollipop 4 by Boxier two Omnis on the top and then this is a boxer with standard antenna and that's it so success so this is where I'm flying it's so peaceful today is not a cold day it's a good conditions to fly <laughs> <laughs> 